What's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Garage Topics. Want to do a quick update on the Corvette today. Hallelujah. I got some cool things going on in here and a simple product I think it's going to make me feel a whole lot of peace of mind with this Corvette. All right, so I did all this intake, cold air intake and fuel rails modification right before LS Fest 2019. That was a great time. One thing I had to do though is I, the big thing was these fuel rails. I had to hook up the OEM hard line. So it's a hard line here to a flex line. And then I've got an adapter here, which then runs to a bunch of other adapters and then loops around into the back. It works, it's fine, it doesn't leak anything. But my paranoid ass wants to make sure that there's no leaks at all and getting rid of some of those potential leaks is what I want to do today. A product from Earl's Plumbing came out literally right after LS Fest. If I had known about it, I would have slapped this bad boy on ASAP. I think this Earl's Plumbing adapter is going to make adding an aftermarket fuel rail to a C5 or C6 Corvette a breeze. So let's go take a look at it real quick. Basically, this adapts to the fuel rail, then hard 90s off of it and attaches to the flex hose. Let me take this out and show you what it's going to look like before we put it on. So this threads on its O-ring fitting. The sizes will be in the description as well. It has flex or it rotates so you can get the angle of this perfect. But what this is going to do, it's going to go on the back of the fuel rail right down here and that line is going to clip right into this and make it super simple. This feels like a great piece. It's honestly, it's, it's expensive. This thing is like 25 bucks, but I, you can't really put a price on peace of mind with fueling and such. So this is going to make me feel a whole lot of ease with no leaks ever because there's no room for error. There's no uh, soft line except for the OEM stuff, which is good. So I'm going to try and just take this fuel rail off and then get to the fitting back and then we can slap it all back on. Yeah, I just took the two bolts out of the fuel rail, had a little bit of fuel spillage, but we're fine. So you can see what's going on here. This line here comes to here, then there's an adapter here, which has a thread which then goes to an adapter, which then goes to this Chinese line stuff, which then goes to another adapter, which then goes to a 90 degree adapter, which then goes to an adapter into the fuel rail. I ain't got time for that. That one is gonna replace basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight connections. It's gonna make two when we're done with this, so which I feel a whole lot better about. So I'm gonna loosen this up and slap it on and make sure it all fits, but it should fit just fine. This is gonna thread into the fuel rail right here and then this elbow is gonna come down and push right into this. I, I, I believe there was enough measurement room for this length to go right back in here because it's gonna sit like that there and that line's gonna, this actually has some flex so it'll push back some and bloop, plop right in the back. Use the Earl's plumbing boy, not to nick this up, got it loose, had it on there super tight. Oh, dribble a little fuel. So this is the whole connecting doodle piece. I needed to connect this to the rail. This is the size I'll put in the description. It'll plug right into here. Oh, look at this, what we got here. Boom. So much nicer. This is on here super tight now, um, but like I mentioned, it's got the swivel. I put a, some vice grips on here just to give me some leverage, but the flexibility here is gonna allow me to get at the right angle for this to hook right up into it. So. I'm gonna put the rail back on and then get this in place and then hook it right up and then we'll check for leaks, but we should be good to go. All right, so next day, I actually bought the wrong fitting. The fitting was actually 1 16th, too small. They, they have two different sizes based on what OEM factors you got going on. So in the description, I've got the right fitting size and right part number. So for at least the C5 Corvette, you're good to go. But here's a good example. One connection, two connection. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've gone from two to eight, or from eight to two. So this was fine, but I just would rather have the least amount of potential errors happen. So this guy's, what the one looks like in here, and let me show it to you. So you can see it in here. The OEM flex line goes into that Earl's fitting and straight into the fuel rail, which is great, um, super safe. You can see it over here too. It even used the OEM oh, safety holder clips too. So this is great. Um, I gotta, I've got spilt fuel so many times that I've ruined the valve covers down here, which is a bummer. So I didn't use engine paint. So that's the heads up here. Um, it held up fine with heat, but with fuel did not like that. So eventually I'll replace that, but I'm gonna button this back up and double check for no fuel leaks, but so far so good. I had issues 
with fuel leaks coming from the fuel injectors themselves. They were just out of out of alignment, so made sure that the O-ring was good to go and sealed it all down, and here we are. So this should be good to go. All right, it is good to go. And you can see a whole lot better down here, but it runs in just fine, and there's no fuel leaks at all. It, besides needing a wash, it's good to go, basically. So we'll do a couple more exhaust things, and then we'll also get it retuned and actually get some horsepower numbers as well. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions about that Earl's fitting, just let me know. Make sure your dog doesn't eat any Earl's plumbing, because that'd be an expensive vet visit. Catch you later. Peace out.